Hey everyone, you alright? Just in the van with Carl. We're on the way to Huddersfield. Pretty exciting gig tonight. Where are we playing, Carl? We're playing at the Parish, the Dive Bar in Huddersfield. Who are we playing with? Well, my big hero is Mr. Jared James Nichols, Mr. Blues Power himself. So uh, I'm pretty excited. My fingers are a little bit nervous, obviously, but I think it's going to be a good gig. So uh, yeah, it's quite a drive, but you know, I'm going to bring the camera along for the ride. So uh, we're going to get a bit of sound check filmed and a few bits here and there. Should be a good gig. We're mega excited. Welcome to my dusty van. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the van. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I can't talk. My car's probably not quite as dirty, but not great. <laughs> <laughs> Just arrived at the venue. Here's Higgy. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> just loaded the gear in. Uh, Jarrah's just doing a quick rig rundown with Dagon from PMT. Uh, sounds glorious, by the way. On his gold top Dorothy. So uh, I'm gonna get sound check once that's done, and uh, I'll get some more footage for you guys. Hey, it's Andy from the future here. Um, just editing the video and realised I don't actually have footage of our sound check. Got a good reason though. So um, if you follow me on my social media, um, I posted about this on my Instagram the other day, but um, you may have seen about this already. But essentially, um, something pretty cool happens. And um, yeah, you're about to see the exact moment Jared let me have a go on Dorothy, his 1952 Les Paul gold top. Um, yeah, mind blowing for me. Uh, I absolutely adore that guitar and Jared's playing, obviously he's a really big hero of mine. So this was, um, really overwhelming moment for me try to keep it cool but uh yeah it was it was full on you know um so yeah i've got a, f a fair bit of footage of me playing dorothy for his rig and um, you're about to see the moment like i said he hands the guitar over and lets me have a go on it crazy uh, again it's wasn't really expecting this to happen of course so it's just gonna be camera audio i'm afraid but hopefully you can appreciate it it was a, a crazy moment for me so uh, enjoy what's on man okay. i didn't click that tube screen around for more oh, mm -hmm. What, after, uh, yeah, I'll take a moment, brother. Do whatever you want. Well, just don't fucking drop it off and slice your goddamn head off. Oh, money's controlled, dude. Hey, dude. Yeah, big knobs. Also, you'll notice, too, is it'll be like really reactive as you twist all the knobs everywhere. So it might get like super dark and then fucking, yeah, just do whatever you want. much about this guitar Dorothy it's um, phenomenal you know um, I've had a lot of questions about it already um, but again you'll hear more about it through Dagan's um, rig rundown with Jared that was filmed like I said just before that crazy moment happened for me and um, so I'll leave a link in the description box once that rig rundown is out it'll be on the PMT YouTube channel so keep an eye out for that coming soon but yeah, um, the guitar, like I said, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're a Jared fan, you know all about it. It was in a tornado, etc. Hence why it's absolutely beaten up. Um, but yeah, more about that later on. But what I want to chat to you now about is the rig that it was playing it through. So, um, Jared's always been a black star guy. Um, I've got actually his signature amp in the background just off the side of the camera there, and the 20 watt version. Now, the new rig he's got, slightly beefed up rig. Um, he's got two half, half stack or two a full stack of cabs, Black Star, and he's running a new 50 watt head. So I um, don't know if I should say this, but um, I'm sure it'll be all over the internet soon enough. It's not released yet, um, but obviously everyone at the gig heard it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's going to be a new signature model coming out from uh, Jared and Black Star, and it's a 50 watt amp, two channels, and uh, yeah, it sounded glorious. So in terms of Jared's rig, um, you'll know he's a very um, simple but effective uh, guy when it comes to the rig. It was literally Dorothy, the gold top, one cable straight into a tube screamer, all the settings at 12 o'clock, really simple, can't go wrong. That's kicking the front end of the amp, obviously, and then essentially the other cable goes right into the front of the amp. That's it. 
Um, as you know, it's all about his playing style, the fingers. He gets a lot of dynamics in his playing from how hard he's attacking the strings. And he does use the volume controls a lot. But uh, yeah, I thought it would be uh, cool to just explain the setup, basically. And again, it's very minimalistic. Um, I know throughout the years, I've gone through all sorts of different pedal boards, changed them in and out, um, big pedal boards, small pedal boards, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, very refreshing to see uh, someone like Jared just laying it out, all those licks and all those amazing sounds with essentially guitar, tube screamer, amp. Really can't go wrong, can you? So um, let's hear a bit more of me playing. Um, the next clip you'll see here, I had to give it a bit of Gary Moore, didn't I? So this is me kicking the tube screamer on. <laughs> controls on the guitar are incredibly touch sensitive so the volume and the tone controls and um, between all of those you can get a, a crazy amount of different tones you know really just running it down a couple of notches on the volume especially um obviously cleans cleans the amp up a little bit but um it, yeah it was it was pretty crazy so i had a little chance to explore that briefly uh, i think here's a clip of me um on the neck pickup i believe and i'd roll the volume back a little bit just to sort of explore a different tone um I think they sounded lovely actually, so uh, see what you think. <laughs> that completely mind-blowing experience um, it was time to hand the guitar back and grab my own guitar for once and then um, time to get our sound check done so we, we got our gear on stage and 
Got the sound check done, really happy with the sound. The venue um, was called the, the Parish in Huddersfield. Um, there's actually three different stories to the venue. Um, we're playing in the, the lower part of the venue. Um, really tight, sweaty room. Um, we knew it was going to be a good atmosphere for the gig. But yeah, sound check went really well. Um, there was a, a slight issue actually with a bit of feedback somewhere. Um, I don't, well, the, the sound engineer said they actually have ghosts in the air uh, in the building. Um, don't know if that's true or not. Maybe if you're from Huddersfield, you're ready to tell me more about it. But um, yeah, there was a bit of interference at one point. But again, we got it all sorted. And after that, um, basically time to chill for a bit. So we went backstage and chilled with Jared for a little bit. Um, got a chance to play Dorothy again, this time unplugged. And really get a chance to see the guitar up and close. Um, like I said, I've watched all the footage, like I'm sure you all have on YouTube, the rig rundowns and whatnot. Uh, it's one thing watching on YouTube. It's another thing in the flesh, isn't it? So... Um, had a chance to really look around the guitar and see the back of it and all the, I guess you'd call it, tornado relicking. Um, it's the sort of thing you can't really imitate, I guess. You know, it's it's crazy. There's gouges out the back of it. Um, obviously, the finish is coming off where Jared's been sweating over it. You can actually see there's a mark underneath where his hands would rest down here. That was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it was, again, I'm still blown away chatting about it now. This is days after the, the, the gig, obviously, but um, crazy times. Before I knew it, our set was over. It was absolutely brilliant. Uh, loved it. Really sweaty, just how a proper gig should be. Um, we played for 40 minutes and uh, it went by an absolute blast. Um, it was good fun, good atmosphere, nice, you know, uh, lively crowd. And um, yeah, it was great. Obviously, there's a lot of guitar players in the room, so I did feel the pressure that night, but um, I felt like I'd come off really doing a good job. So, uh, really proud of that one. But yeah, the only thing for me was obviously um, at one point I thought I was. We're going to knock into Jared's amps there, right behind me. And at one point, um, with us moving around on stage, we're quite a hard-hitting, heavy band. So um, I could see the amps, the Black Stars behind me, just kind of wobbling a little bit. So a little bit scared of that. But, you know, it was a cool gig. And uh, like I said, uh, we got our gear off stage and it was time for Jared to take the stage. So uh, 
I've got a little bit of footage of Jared, but unfortunately um, it was pretty rammed in there, so it's only off my phone, just a little brief bit of footage, but it's a great atmosphere. So here's a few clips for you. So it was an absolutely phenomenal set, as you can imagine. Um, he had the crowd just eating out of his hands. There was a lot of banter going back and forth between the crowd and Jared. Again, for being quite an intimate venue, it was um, a really cool way to see Jared. I've seen him a few times now, and it's been various different sized venues, but um, this is the, the kind of most intimate performance I've ever seen. So he came out into the crowd at one point. Um, the thing I love about his band is the way they can take it from up here to down here, dynamic-wise, you know, so. He does a lot where he rolls the volume right back on the guitar and obviously he's playing with his fingers but he goes from like a you know a whisper where you can in fact at one point he was just holding this vibrato on for what seemed like eternity you know like uh to quote spinal tap you know it, it was amazing but uh, yeah what i loved about the set was a real range of dynamics they played all the tracks i was wanting to hear and a couple of ones i've not heard before which was cool uh, well not heard live before i should say um but yeah, he finished on War Pigs, classic, crowd were loving it. And then one that I'd not heard him do before, um, his Alice in Chains cover of Man in a Box. Incredible. 
one thing I want to say is obviously we all as guitar players we're, we're geeking out about his playing obviously I don't think he gets enough credit as a vocalist as well um, the chorus on that was insane you know um, one guy next to me in the crowd was belting it out as well with us so um, great atmosphere absolutely loved it so like I said Amy great set with the band um, after that he was over to the merch desk and um, you know grabbing photos with everyone signing autographs it was a um, really cool experience to see that he, he always does that at his gigs that's the one thing that um, I really must say about Jared, he's just such a down-to-earth guy. Um, if you come to one of his gigs, you're going to hopefully be able to meet him and chat with him. And he's got time for everyone, and that really makes a difference of um, people like that. Um, it'd be very easy for someone to play the set and just bugger off to the backstage room or whatnot and, uh, and not have time for people, but not at all. Jared is so down-to-earth and he's got time for everyone. So, um, again, I couldn't recommend going to a gig um, more, really. Um, I know you'll if you're a guitar player like myself and you're into that, Blues style of playing, um, it's really something to experience. So uh, yeah, after that, um, you know, we just kind of hung out for a little bit. Um, just hanging out with Dagan, obviously from PMT. I had a good chat about Les Pauls, obviously. Um, after that, um, as you know, the night was kind of coming to a close. Went back to the backstage area and just kind of like chilled out, had some food and whatnot. You know, it's what you do after you do a gig, obviously. Um, but then right before the end, something really cool happened. Um, so I've got a clip of the, this moment as well. Um, we started chatting about guitars and I got my, um, my Les Paul out to show Dagan and it was really cool just to geek out with, about gear again, you know. I think um, there was a lot of Les Paul fans in the room at that point, you know. So uh, it's cool to see um, Jared, you know, having a go on my guitar as well. That was mind-blowing as well for me. But right before the end, um, I brought this guitar here and you can see it's had an addition to it, you know. But I've you've got a little video clip of this, so... Here's the moment where um, Jared signed my uh, Epiphone Gold Glory, which again, um, got his signature on the back, obviously. You get that from the, the factory, don't you? Uh, but to have the real deal on the front here, um, loud and proud, was really cool for me. So uh, you can see in the video, I'm like a little fangirl. <laughs> it was like Christmas had come for me, really. But um, yeah, it was really crazy. Uh, that was the icing on the cake for me of what had been an incredible day, really. Um, a long day, but worth, worth it, you know. So uh, yeah. Here's a bit of footage of, uh, like I said, me getting my guitar signed and um, freaking out, basically. <laughs> Enjoy. Hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get in there. Get the lighting back on this bad boy. Oh, uh, yeah. So just play it like it's your last time. Please. All in all, an incredible night. Um, something that I will cherish forever. I will never forget that night. Um, we just had such a blast. Again, it was great. Hanging out with Jared and the band, um, chatting with Dagan, you know, um, a lot of banter going around. We had some good chats and whatnot. But yeah, I just thought you'd enjoy this little video. Um, you know, hopefully you enjoy this as much as I enjoyed the gig. You know, it's, it's an incredible time. And um, again, if you haven't seen Jared live yet, he'll be back in the UK next year. He's always touring. He's a busy guy, one of the hardest working guitar players I know. But uh, again, I would encourage you to get out your way and go to see him. You know, even if you've got to travel a few hours to get to the venue or whatever, just do it. You won't, you won't regret it. You know. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not familiar with my band as well, um, obviously I featured us in the video a little bit earlier on. Timestamp to below if you want to go back or forward. And um, the band's called the Soul Revival. You know, we've got music out online. We're just about to release another single actually. Um, but you know how the internet works. Search us up. We've got music on Spotify, iTunes, all the usual places you listen to music. And it would mean a great deal if you check the band out. So, um, like I said, I'll leave all the links below if you need that. And if you actually go to the band's YouTube channel, linked below again, I'm actually going to be uploading more footage from the gig of us playing if anyone's curious. So, uh, do check that out. So, thanks again for watching. Um, again, I'm still overwhelmed from the whole experience. Um, leave me a comment if you caught Jared on this UK tour, if you've seen him previously before. Uh, let me know what you uh, you think to the, the whole video. It was um, mental. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.